drive an electric, it's got to make it a lot easier for you guys to get to the gas pump, right? And you can spend all that money you want to on your gasoline, and we won't bother you. So that'd be even great. So <laughs> better. <clears throat> anyway, so let me introduce Jefferson Smith. I'm Jefferson Smith, and I'm running for mayor. I'd like to be very, very clear about that at the beginning, because about eight months ago, we were doing a gathering uh, over the Multnomah Club. It was pretty well attended. It included 30 small children. And I was giving a set of prepared remarks from a podium. And it was going pretty well. People were paying attention. But about two-thirds of the way in, a little girl named Maggie raised her hand. And I called on her, and she said, who are you, and what are you doing? And so I'd like to be very clear that I'm Jefferson Smith, and I'm running for mayor. I want to say a couple things in the small picture and a couple things in the big picture. In the small picture, talking not about a given election, but what is happening with infrastructure investments and the future of transportation, there are some granular things that ought to be on our mind that you should be talking about to the next head of the Bureau of Development Services, the next head of the Planning Bureau, and that includes when we put up a parking lot that at least the conduit exists in that parking lot so that they can make it ready for electric vehicles. We have to have that on people's minds. We have to be thinking about electric vehicle compatible infrastructure, even if it isn't immediately electric vehicle ready, at least compatible. And you gotta make sure that if it's in Portland that a candidate running in a Democratic primary for the legislature is aware of that, that a candidate for city council or mayor is aware of that, Metro County Commission, etc., is at least aware. I also wanna talk about the bigger picture. Because right now, this not enormous crowd is being outgunned. Right now, most of the energy, and I mean that about human energy, around transportation is focused not on around the future of transportation, but about on its past. Right now, most of the big hitters in transportation policy in this state and in this region are focusing most of their energy, most of their political clout and capital, most of the time they have to spend when talking to a member of Congress, the governor, or candidate for mayor, talking about how we can build a set of transfer, excuse me, highway interchange projects for Clark County. And understand what that means. I'm not even, even if you're in favor of moving a huge piece of Oregon's economy over to Washington, even if you're in favor of increasing emissions and asthma along the I-5 corridor, even if you're in favor of spending money we don't have for a project that's one of the stupidest things we've done in the last 40 years in this state, even if you think all of those things are good ideas, what it also means that we're spending energy on those things rather than spending time and energy in figuring out what the future of transportation ought to be. When we have our best lobbyists going to Washington and talking about that, they're not talking about electric vehicle ready infrastructure. They're not talking to the Department of Transportation in our state about figuring out how we can get more charging stations. They're figuring out how we can get revenue for a project like that. And that's a big deal. And that's why we have to make sure that people here are not merely, who are, yes, electric vehicle consumers. We also need people who are going to be the future of transportation advocates and making sure we are putting together the kind of energy, the kind of human and political infrastructure that can lead to a smarter set of physical and transportation infrastructure. My ultimate point is that we need you. You can't rely on politicians. Politicians will ultimately be not just leaders, but followers, and you need to lead them. I appreciate your time. I appreciate what you're doing. My name is Jefferson Smith, and I'm running for mayor. Thanks. Appreciate it.